You know, I'm really enjoying One Punch Man. I stopped taking this anime serious on episode 1 when I saw a nigga looking like Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. And the fact that this nigga fucks everybody up with One Punch. I've never, if there is a manga, I've never read it, so I'm brand new into this whole One Punch Man universe. Um, this anime is fucking hilarious. It is funny as fuck. There is not one moment that I, I'm reading the subtitles and I'm not smiling or laughing. You know, this episode, episode 7, we see Saitama... We, we get to know more about Saitama. I'm a big guy on character development. I love it, whether it be a comedic anime, uh, an action anime, an adventure anime. I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm, if, if there's character development, I'm all ears. I grow with the character, you, you fall for the character, you know, and in this anime, I mean in this anime, in this episode, we fi we figure out that he does this solely for himself, he doesn't give a fuck what anybody else thinks, he does it because because he wants to, and and I have to give uh, credit where it's due, uh, the animation in this episode, and in the anime in general, since episode 1, the fight scenes are amazing. Um, the auras and, and, and the electricities and, and the explosions, it's all wow. I love it. I'm enjoying this anime a shitload. I think it's fucking hilarious. I think it's funny how he's a C-class and, and a C-class hero because the heroes are categorized. He's a C-class hero and he's the strongest motherfucker out there. The strongest motherfucker. There's nobody. There's nothing he can't do, and he's a C class. And all these scrub ass heroes are a class higher than him. Um, I think it's hilarious his relationship with his apprentice. How how much he looks up to him, and there's so many comedic moments in this episode and in the anime in general uh, between both of them. Um, I'm still gonna be watching this anime. It doesn't look like I'm gonna drop it. I'm, what I'm looking forward from One Punch Man is I want to see. Uh, Saitama hit a hit a um, blah, 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 hit a wall. You don't have a character like Saitama and not explore uh, the depths of his power. Um, there's a lot of growth in that. Um, what would his what would his um, partner think? His fucking apprentice think? Uh, him hitting a wall? Him not being the strongest anymore? I'm pretty sure he's still gonna look up to him. But there's so many things to explore and so many questions that that aren't answered. Um, me personally, these are my questions. I want my questions and what I want to see. What would happen when he hits that wall? What is he gonna do? Is he gonna get stronger? Is he not gonna get stronger? Um, the anime in general is gonna get funnier. I mean, it's already fucking hilarious. So, as a as a com as a comedic anime, it's 100%. It's fucking hilarious. But what I love about this anime is that it's super funny. Um, but it's it also has a story and it's actually going with the story um, there's actually progression he's ranking up um, there's though we get to see more of his inner thoughts in this anime what he thinks or why he's doing this etc etc um, there's a lot of backstory and a lot of story going into his apprentice which is also fucking uh, amazing so overall um, this anime is not disappointing and I'm not gonna stop watching it um, I'm gonna keep reviewing it every fucking weekend unless I'm on another vacation. And um, episode seven, character development a little bit, uh, more more show of strength, a uh, little bit of a ranking up by Saitama in his category. Um, super funny moments with the Tantal brothers and um, and his his apprentice Genos. And um, overall, fun episode. Um, that's all we got out of this episode. And we'll see what it brings us next week. So, you guys stay cool.